Okay, so Alinity did another no-no, and it's gotten to the point that it's quite literally trending on Twitter. That's pretty insane to me, you know? I, I never really would have thought that that would be something we'd be talking about, how Alinity is trending on Twitter because of a nip slip, but that, that's basically what today's video is about. Now, the thing is... It's a very controversial subject. You have people on both sides of it, and that, that's understandable, but this is something that has been almost like a subject on Twitch and I guess on the internet for the better part of a year. The preferential treatment that Alinity seems to get, how she just basically gets away with skirting the line between all these different things without any punishment that, well, let's be honest, other people would be getting. Just, it's odd, right? At a certain point, you have to kind of look at everything, kind of add it all together, and then just be like, you know, this is kind of weird that she has gotten all this preferential treatment considering all the other cases that Twitch has had where people were banned for very ridiculous shit that doesn't even make sense. And I'm going to be talking about that today. So obviously I can't show you guys the clip. I mean, she quite literally pulls a, she pops a titty out on stream. I mean, I'll link it down below in the pinned comment. If you really want to see the clip that bad, it's nothing impressive. Trust me, but YouTube is not going to just be cool with me posting that up here. So, but it happened and everyone has seen it at this point. And we're talking about the same person who's been in controversies before you you know, uh, giving her cat vodka and throwing the cat, letting her dog basically beat it up and get a whiff, you know, it, it's been kind of like a constant thing with her where she just kind of pops back up every once in a while and just like makes us all kind of laugh a little bit at just how bullshit the whole situation becomes, but people are legitimately calling for her to be banned for this entire situation, and honestly, that's kind of what I just, I, I kind of want to talk about it openly today because I feel like there's obviously different scenarios that can play out, and my opinion kind of changes between all of them. But if we're just going to kind of argue the base of everything here and just argue that, you know, based on Twitch's terms of service and how Twitch has applied bans to other people, in reality, yeah, she should probably be banned for this one because we've seen other situations where essentially the same exact thing has happened and people get punished for it. Now, the one that I really want to bring up here because... Amaranth? Amaranth? Uh, not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but basically, it's a female streamer who has streamed on Twitch and, like, IRL live streams, and I think she does cosplaying or something like that, but she's been banned, actually, I think a couple times at this point, but basically, she was banned because she streamed at the gym and accidentally exposed herself in some way. So it wasn't okay for her to do it and have this accident, but it's okay for Alinity who has a long history of kind of skirting the line once again and doing things that she shouldn't be doing, but it's okay for her to do it. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't really make much sense, but but then on top of that, literally just earlier this month, there were articles coming out talking about how Twitch had updated their policies based on this, and in those policies, it says that you're not allowed to stream yourself nude whatsoever. I mean, let, let's be honest. She did break the rules, and if it's not okay for one person to accidentally do it, it shouldn't be okay for the other person to accidentally do it, considering she quite literally just grabbed her shit up and just flossed it, you know what I mean? It wasn't like it just, like, slipped out when she was doing something. She, like, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't honestly see how it was, like, an accident, not to say that it wasn't, but I don't understand how you could accidentally pull that up, you know what I mean? Like, if I was having to adjust something on stream, like, let's say I had a face cam on, and I don't know, like, my meat was just bothering me, right? And it was in frame. I wouldn't just, like, pull it all the way down and, like, r like pull it up and everything and, like, make sure that, like, I was even putting myself at risk of showing it. But at this point, it just, it seems like a weird double standard between what she can do and what other people can do. Now, the thing is, is when you compare this situation to other ones that have caused people to get banned, it still doesn't make sense on how she had not been punished. For instance, I, I want to bring up the story of Pay Money Wubby, who is one of Twitch's biggest streamers, and I also actually really like his videos, I recommend them, but essentially he was banned from Twitch for five entire days, right, and apparently had lost thousands of dollars in revenue, had to like cancel brand deals for the time being because obviously he'd lost his Twitch channel, and you might be wondering why that happened, why did he lose his channel? Because he streamed inside of a restaurant in which the restaurant owner gave him permission to do. So, basically, Twitch took his channel from him for almost an entire week because he filmed inside of a public place that he had permission to actually film from. And it took Twitch five days to reinstate him and make sure that he wasn't banned anymore. But yet, we have... Alinity out here popping the entire titty out for the entire gang to see, and that's a, that's completely acceptable, like, that's fine. But this isn't even a one-off situation with Twitch, like, it's become kind of like, I guess, a, like a popular thing to shit on Twitch, because they essentially do this all the time. I mean, there, there's another one I want to talk about here, and it has to do with a streamer known by, uh, by a Bees On My Head TV, in which he had been banned for about four days because 
he was doing an IRL stream and someone carjacked and robbed him and shot a gun. So basically, if you stream in real life and even like you have permission from the restaurant owner, you can't do that. Like they'll ban you. If you're streaming in real life and someone fucking robs you at gunpoint, that is also grounds for you to be suspended or punished for several days. But popping the full titty out is like completely fine. That's acceptable behavior and nothing will be done about it. And something else I find funny is that somebody essentially came out and they, they had streamed, they were talking about this, they basically had streamed to where like if they died in the game that he would basically put the picture of Alinity up where she had done that, right? And then he was actually suspended for doing that because he put up the picture, but yet Alinity, who actually, you know, created the clip and did it, was not punished in any way, even though it's literally the same thing, it's essentially the same frame, but one person gets in trouble for doing it and not the other. And the thing is, is this account, it took an hour and 20 minutes for Twitch to react to. It took them an hour and 20, which is not that much fucking time. I mean, let's be honest. They basically were right on it in this instance here where, you know, they basically just rebroadcast what happened, but yet it's been, you know, however much time now since she's done it and it was like it's completely cool but and the thing is is it's not like i'm sitting here like really riding for her to be banned or suspended because i know a lot of people are out here like she has to be fucking suspended or else i'm never using twitch again i will go to the supermarket buy 1000 white t-shirts i will come back and print i hate twitch on them and sell them i'll go to their headquarters and protest like there's a lot of people freaking out about it personally i it's not like i'm sitting here really wanting this to happen all i really want is it for be it to be fair you know what i mean for punishments on that platform which I'm now a member of and actively stream on, I want the rules to be applied to everybody the same way that they should be. I don't think it's fair that one streamer can do something that other people can't do. On a very consistent basis, it's not like this is a one-off where she's gotten away with some shit that everyone else would be in trouble for. I mean, at this point, you could make a fucking documentary simply about her messing up on camera, and you'd have an hour and 30 minutes worth of coverage and footage and talking about it. From the cat to vodka to quite literally letting her dog blow her back out and get a whiff and popping one out for the boys and essentially admitting that she moved to Canada and got married so she could become a citizen there and then fucking broke up with the dude. I mean, it's it's been a very consistent trend with her where she's done this kind of shit and Twitch just looks the other way every single time and it causes a controversy every single time, right? And yet, every single single time they just ignore it and it's gotten to the point this has 34.1 thousand tweets and that's only as of me recording this audio there are more tweets right now about alinity than there are about kim jong-un who died or supposedly died today a fucking major political event that is going on on the planet right now where the supreme leader of north korea is potentially either dead or brain dead something has less tweets than this Twitch streamer does because she is getting away with another rule infraction and violation. And the thing is, is as someone who has recently actually started to take Twitch seriously, obviously twitch.tv forward slash sub to Optimus, I'll be streaming again tonight. As someone who is now taking this seriously, and like I enjoy doing it and I stream for hours at an end, you know, at a time, I am fully aware that if I did something like this, I would be banned. I would be punished. They wouldn't get, they wouldn't care, you know? I, I, I don't have the clout and the importance to Twitch that she does. I mean, let's be honest, what's really the difference between her popping a titty out and me whipping out the beef stick? I mean, come on now. What exactly is different about it, you know? The only difference is, is I got the beef stick, she's got, you know, the she's got it for the boy popped out there, the titty. But you know that Twitch wouldn't treat our cases equally. You know that within like 13 seconds, I would be completely erased off that platform. Had the old Frankenberries just dangling out there. I mean, at this point, I'm almost tempted to just like test it and see. I mean, I'm not going to, but I mean, I'm just tempted to just kind of, you know, show the entire world what the stroke game's out here looking like just to see what Twitch would do. But Alinity can do no wrong, according to Twitch. I mean, it, it's something that I've said time and time again at this point. It doesn't matter what she does. Even if it's a rule infraction, even if it's problematic according to Twitch, she's not going to be punished for it. There's nothing that's going to happen to her. But God forbid you do it. With somebody, you know, who has like 300 followers, God forbid you do it. You're, you're done. And I think that's what the real problem is here. I don't think the problem is necessarily that she showed the titty. It's whatever, you know? I don't think that that's a really big deal to me personally. What is a big deal to me personally is the fact that pretty much regardless, there is no 
real equal treatment on Twitch. I mean, it's a website in which you can be banned for something circumstantial happening to you out of your control. But then quite literally, if you pull up your shirt and just show it off to the entire platform, that's completely acceptable, so long as you are one person that they like. And in reality, I don't even blame her. I know a lot of people think that, like, she's the worst thing of all time. And I mean, I do think that she's an asshole when she's done a lot of shitty things that she should be punished for. But at, at this point, it's Twitch. It's not her. It's not like she is hacking into Twitch and deleting the bans or anything like that. They are just refusing to do anything about it. But it is Twitch's job to do that. It is Twitch's job to police their platform the correct way and to hold everyone accountable to the same rules. But it, it's not going to happen. I mean, it, once again, yet another example. And... It's just crazy how much of a response that it's actually gotten. But thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch, sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti and Optube down below for fresh, official Optimus merch. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Popping one out on stream just to see what happens. And signing out.